And what you're about to see is a reminder of what happened the day that Rachel died. I looked out the window and there's a kid with a trench coat and a shotgun throwing pipe bombs in the parking lot and then he shot a girl outside. Well, the presentation was really inspiring and I want to start a chain reaction on what Rachel said. I want to not stop bullying and I want to inspire other people to do what's right, not what's wrong. Those two boys were sick and tired of being bullied. And he came into the library and shot everybody around me. It's a big reason why those two boys did the killings at Columbine High School. I think it was a really good thing that they showed it to us because a lot of kids don't understand what you say and what you do to other kids can affect how they think and their attitude. It made me understand how other kids would feel if you were to ever bully them and how, how far the extent would go. Rachel's Challenge is an organization uh, based on the teachings or the, the letters of Rachel Scott, the letters and the, and the diaries of Rachel Scott, and uh, it, the message is one of kindness and compassion. Be kind uh, and be compassionate. That's Rachel's message. Be, be kind and be compassionate to others and to yourself, of course. I think it's going to leave a strong emotional impact. Um, a lot of kids are going to be really affected by it, and I think it's going to change how their perspective on things. I felt like sorry for Rachel how she died, but very inspired about how she motivated people to do the right thing and how she did the right thing. And it's been wonderful because we've spoken to so many, so many students and, and uh, teachers, and to see the response and to have the uh, the well. The, Everybody welcomed us in such a wonderful way. And so we, on behalf of Rachel's Challenge, we want to say thank you because it's been such a wonderful opportunity to. But for the families of 12 students and one brave teacher, there would be no joyous reunion. At that time, they were left in stunned sorrow to pray and ask why.